welcome back to my channel. Today I have my hubby here. Yay! It is actually our one year anniversary. So yes, I'm working on my anniversary. And I wanted to share with you guys us tasting our cake top. So this is like a tradition. Is it an American tradition or like... Do you know anything about it? No? no. I don't know anything about it. You're supposed to eat the cake when you're after the top. Yeah, you save mm -hmm. the top and then you eat it a year later and if it oh, tastes it, good it's either american or probably european one of the two well you look like, yeah so you eat it and either the like the myth or the whatever goes that if you eat it a year later and it tastes good then that's like a happy marriage and if you eat it and it tastes bad then that's like your marriage is gonna suck or like not last long or something like that some sort of like legend like that mm -hmm. so we have our cake topper or cake top and you can see our toppers like look at your feet your topper feet i still have our toppers too and then also my stepdad did a really nice gesture and he actually took this bottle of wine unopened from our wedding it's a pinot noir and it is a california wine bogle 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 Vineyards. Anyways, and he saved this for a whole year and just gave it to us today. And it was cute. He gave it to us on ice, even though it is a red. So it is cold, but it's all right. He's not a wine drinker, so he doesn't know. So we are going to try our cake and taste our wine and do the marriage tag or the husband tag, whatever you want to call it. It has a couple different names. So let's just start with popping this wine open, baby. And you like Pinot Noir? Is that your favorite? Mm-hmm. My favorite red. My favorite red is Merlot, but I tried a Malbec tonight at dinner, and it was so good. And look who came to join us. Little runt. This is the runt of the litter. She's so cute. Minnie. I want to call her Minnie, because she's a mini kitty. She's going to hang out here. I think that should be her name. Whoa, is the cork coming out? Yep. Because it's old or something? Probably. Like, show the camera. That's crazy. The cork's like coming out. Is it going to like explode? Yep. <gasps> no, I don't know. No red wine on the carpet. <laughs> red, red. I'd rather have it on the carpet than my shirt. Not on your new polo. Yeah, exactly. Kitty, that cake is not for you. It's for me. Oh, fun fact about... <laughs> Are you struggling? Mm -hmm. About our wedding cake, I have a hair on my face. I only got to taste the bite that he fed me when we cut the cake together uh -oh. because I was so, oh no, the cork's like deteriorated. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing to keep it together up top, so I'm gonna have to cut the top of the cork off here. Anyways, while he opens the wine, like I was saying, I only got the bite that he fed me because I was so busy talking to everyone and taking pictures that I never actually got a chance to sit down and eat a piece of my cake which makes me so sad because one his cousin made it and it was so beautiful and it was white chocolate with strawberries real strawberries in the middle because he loves strawberries and then white chocolate because that's like my favorite and so I don't even know really can't remember what it tastes like so I only had that one bite so I'm like praying that this tastes okay i know a lot of people say it doesn't after a year but hopefully we we wrapped it really good we had it in cellophane and then and we like wrapped it asap as soon as we were done cutting the cake we took the top off i think it smells still smells like cake oh did you get it yeah i cut the cut it off so i can, oh, tap so you into can it. use the yeah the wine opener this smells good Oh my gosh, this still smells like cake. There is our cake top. Oh yeah, it unthawed good. And this was like the decoration because my colors were pink and gold. I actually have a wedding video and like three honeymoon videos because we did a, a bunch of adventures for our honeymoon. If you haven't seen that, do you get the smell the cork? I learned that that's a thing with wine tasting. What did you say really? Oh, because the smell the cork thing. Oh, you never heard of that? Mm -mm. Oh, really? Mercedes taught me. OMG. I'm not even like a fan of Pinot Noir. This was his, like he picked this out for the wedding to have for wine drinkers. I had, at the time I was a white wine drinker, so I picked out a white wine. Oh, were you trying to get me drunk? Maybe a little bit. <laughs> Ooh, my cute little wine glasses Sounds my good. best friends got me. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. It's weird that it's cold. 
Mm -hmm. Ooh. Ooh. Tastes Not too good. bad to me. Tastes good. It's just a little cold. Yeah, it's weird that it's cold. Get those kitties off the table. So a thumbs up for the wine? Yes. Or? I feel like we'd have to wait until it's not cold. <laughs> yeah. To really judge it. I don't know. I don't like cold red gross. So let's do a couple questions before we try our cake, which, oh my gosh, is that like plant matter? Probably is. From the flower. Okay, first question, babe. Where did we meet? We met at the college. I was giving you rides. You didn't have a car. Yeah. They love you. I know. They love you so much. Number two, where was our first date? <laughs> I don't even remember this. I know that's terrible, but I don't remember the first time you took me out to dinner or a movie. Six years ago. So that one's bad on both of our parts. We both don't remember. <laughs> so, Oops. Whoops. Next bad. question. What was your first impression of me? Beautiful young woman with a little bit of feistiness. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. Right. You are so annoying. Oh, my goodness. Why are you flipping like that? Number four. When did you meet my family? <laughs> what, what, which one? Your, your mom, your dad, your grandma? I know, all of them. Her grandma taught me to swim. Right, yeah, my grandma teaches all of them. Very, very, very young. Yeah. Yeah, so you've known my family for longer than me. Yeah. You know my grandma longer than I have. Yep. Wow, we are 13 years apart. For anyone that did not know, now you know. Now you know. The more you know. All right, we'll do a couple more questions and then I really, really want to try this because I didn't get to try it before. <laughs> um, weird habit of each other. So like, what's a weird habit that we have? You pick, that's a weird habit that you have. Like your face or your toes. What about me? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? I, I, I wouldn't classify anything as weird. I don't have a weird habit? I don't have any weird habits, I guess. How long have we been together? <laughs> I swear to God, if you get this wrong, I've been saying it for like... Six years. When? Almost November. Mm -hmm. Do we have any traditions? I can think of a few. Really? Yeah. They're not like traditions, like we set them in stone. It's just things that we tend to do a lot. That we like to do. Like when we go on vacation. Mm -hmm. Where I have to go in the morning. I hop. Yeah! <laughs> what? Uh, I'm just... <laughs> Isn't that kind of like a tradition? I mean, like, we don't have IHOP where we live, and so whenever we go anywhere else, like... If there is an IHOP, we go to the IHOP. <laughs> for the breakfast, because mm -hmm. I love their white chocolate raspberry pancakes. They are so good. And, yeah, the, that, that's kind of like a tradition, don't yeah. you think? I, I, Isn't I, that what would constitute a tradition, something we do? Well, a tradition would be, like, a, something you do on, the, like, once a year, regular, uh. like, uh... Something you do every year for Memorial Day. Well, that's like Day technical or... tradition, you know? Right, right. This is like us. We make an IHOP tradition. Before we do any more questions, I need to try this cake. You guys know me. I love my cake flavors. I want to try this cake. Did you fart? No. Oh, you were like, eh. Yeah. Oh, it sounded like you farted. <laughs> like, bent over and fart while you were <laughs> petting the kitten. I'm like Little Mermaid. La, la, la. But, with that... <sighs> Fruit fly, don't bother me. Guess who's back? Back again. Shady's back. Dougie's back. Dougie's back. So tell a friend. <laughs> Alright. Let's try this cake. Here, I'll hold it. Okay, OMG. Is this just all frosting? Oh no, I don't want to eat that much frosting. Oh, it smells good. Oh! <laughs> Are you ready? Mm -hmm. oh, oh, baby. Should we feed each other? Jesus oh, I Christ, I Douglas. I can't. Make that smaller. Okay. <laughs> oh my God. What the heck? It actually tastes really good. It does. <laughs> it tastes like, the frosting's a little like, I don't know, thick. Mm-hmm. But it has kind of like a a little bit of a a freezer burn tea taste. But <laughs> you like it? Strawberries are good in there. Oh, you're eating the strawberries? Yeah. These are it, real strawberries in there. Alicia, girl, oh my god, you did so good on this cake. Yes. It still tastes good a year later. Wow. I want to try the strawberries. Yeah. Oh. <gasps> I didn't know it was like that. I didn't have any when we 
when he got married. Ow, the kitten is biting my toe. I want some of the pink. Mm. I mean, yeah, try that. <laughs> it's okay. Wow. Now you got some strawberry. Yeah. It's okay for a year old cake. Yeah. Now. Like, it tastes good for a year old cake. But you can tell when you, like, you know, like, there's a, get there's that a, scent. There's a little staleness to it, but yeah. not not bad at all. Not I'm, anything like I was thinking. I'm going to eat it again. <laughs> baby, what? our marriage is going to be a little stale. <laughs> But it's gonna it's gonna taste good. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, yay! Yes. So, next question. An animal anim animal. An animal that resembles one another. Hmm. You're purring, hi. What you think I resemble a cat? This is this is you, the kitty cat. <laughs> Purr and fluffies. Okay, well then you're like a sloth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, baby. <laughs> okay, what's the next question? Since I'm a sloth. What was our first road trip? Well, like, does Seattle and Spokane count? Because we've been there many times, but those aren't really long. Right. That would probably be our first, like, real road trip. Because we've gone to Seattle and Spokane, but that's only three hours, you know, one way. And that's, I mean, I guess that's a road trip, but, like. Not really. Kind of, but not really. Road... Nothing seems like a road trip anymore after freaking going to San Diego. Right. Driving for... to Spokane for a three-hour drive doesn't feel like anything. For me, for me, a road trip, you'd have to, it has to be multiple days. Be like a... when we drove down right. San Diego. That, I mean, that's what I think of as a road trip. Yeah. Definitely multiple days. What was the first thing you noticed about me? I lack big butts and I cannot lie. Shut and your other brothers can't deny. Either your gorgeous eyes, your beautiful smile. Probably the first thing I noticed about you was like your tattoos and your nipple piercings. <laughs> <laughs> what pisses him off? Everything. Everything. <laughs> um, when I tell you what to do. Yeah. When anyone tells you what to do, yeah, I don't like being told what to do. Um, when you are wrong, yeah. <laughs> you get <laughs> I'm mad. Not wrong. I'm not wrong. When, when like anything goes wrong or doesn't work right, like the door, and then you have to slam it. <laughs> what pisses me off? Me. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> anything in particular? Cruelty to cats. Or animals in general. Yeah, um, that pissed me right off. Three things I am good at, and three things I'm not good at. Three things you're good at? You're really? Like, you well, can't you, say that. I know. That's why I whispered it. <laughs> um, Three things you're good at. Very good at the internet. You're an excellent cook. You're very good at being thoughtful. Thinking of others. Thinking of others. You're very good at thinking of others. What are three things I'm not good at? Be honest. I know. Give I... the people what they want. The things you're not good at? I can't think of anything. You're excellent at everything, baby. Don't edit that scowl. Just keep that scowl in there. <laughs> Just keep the I will. Not very good at listening at listening to me when I try to explain something. You mean like when we're arguing? Yep. Yeah. And all I want to do is explain, and that's it. I don't have to be right. I don't have to be wrong. I don't care. I just want you to know what position and where I'm coming from. Okay. We're getting like Dr. Phil on my freaking YouTube channel. I know. Anyways, three things you're good at. You are good at survival stuff, like, you know, hunting and like you have all that army instincts. <laughs> like, if we have to go off the grid, I would trust you to keep, keep me yeah. alive and like protect me. I know how to do things. Survive. You're like good at survival techniques. You're good at driving, maneuvering cars. You're good at debates, so you're good at arguing. And three things you're not good at. Not really good at being consistent. You're not good at listening to what I tell you to do. <laughs> <laughs> and you're not good at making phone calls. Oh, hi. What do we argue about the most? My consistency. Probably. Okay. Next question. Do I have PMS? Every day. 
Yes. Yes. Oh yeah. Yeah, I do. I really do. 16, who wears the pants in the relationship? I do, she tries. Do I have any weird obsessions? <laughs> There's a kitten on my shoulder. Mm -hmm. I don't think that's a weird obsession. No, it's not weird. You haven't quite reached crazy cat lady status yet, but... You don't think so? Not quite. Getting there, but not quite. Oh my god, we have to keep this one. Her weird obsession may be like vampire shows. <laughs> yeah, I like vampire shit. Do you have a weird obsession? Oh, your Wars. conspiracy theories. Yep. <laughs> uh, nicknames for each other. Baby, the normal ones. Yeah, nothing unique, I guess. Nothing like Pookie Bear. Yeah, Ew, no. Uh, yeah, nothing like that. I don't even call him. I don't even like call you Bay. What is my favorite restaurant? See, that's kind of tough because you have mm. a, a couple that you enjoy quite a bit. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. where we went tonight. Yeah, Garlini's. Garlini's. You like the sumo? Yeah, I love sumo. See, I don't. Yeah, I don't Sushi. have like a one favorite. Right. I like Garlini's, which is Italian. I like sumo, which is Japanese sushi. sushi. And I like India House, India which is House. Indian food. Curry. Those are my top three. Yep. Mm -hmm. So you knew those. Yeah. You don't have a favorite restaurant either because you can eat everywhere. Yeah. Or do you have a favorite restaurant? Uh, not necessarily. Yeah, I like you it. like everything. I like everything. Yeah. Okay, if I am watching TV, what am I watching? Vampire shit. <laughs> no. Sports, sports or Marvel, like on Netflix. Pretty Little Liars. Yeah, I'm watching that right now. Orange is the New Black. Yeah, I like that show a lot. Um, What's my favorite? Jane. Day? Yeah, Jane, Jane the, the Virgin. Virgin. He hates that one. Yeah. What is one food I do not like? Perch. Because <laughs> I'm allergic. Well, That's I mean, not fair. No. Sauerkraut. Yeah, she he hates, hates sauerkraut. <laughs> there you go. I'm freaking really. Yeah, she hates. She hates sauerkraut. You don't like tomatoes. No, I don't like tomatoes. No. Well, no. You can have them pico de gallo but that's it. Yeah, that's about it. What drink do I order when we go out to eat? Water. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but if I was going to get like an alcoholic drink, what would it be? Well, it depends on what kick you're on. You go through different phases. <laughs> she's on a she's on a John Daly phase right now. <laughs> I am John Daly's hard Arnold Palmer, if yeah. you don't know John Daly. So good. Lemon drop. True. Maybe even a. You, if you're drinking, you get. Caribou. Yeah. You order a alcoholic drink. Sometimes it's usually a Crown and Coke, if not some sort of uh, beer. And I feel like you like. Do you like IPAs? Yeah. Isn't yeah. only is uh, Space does an IPA? Yes. Yeah. My favorite kind of sandwich. BLT. Yeah. You like a tuna melt. <laughs> Your face, I know you hate it. I hope that was on camera. Your face though. <laughs> I know you hate tuna. Hate, no. hate tuna. Um, Gross. You don't really, I don't know if you really have a favorite that I know of. I usually like just ham. You yeah. like ham with like uh, a spicy mustard. I like trying different stuff yeah i like a variety mm -hmm. anyways that was so funny when i said tuna milk in <laughs> like face. what uh, what is one talent i have i don't really have any talents i don't it, think i mean you're very good with the computer and some may say that i'm not there's yeah. others that are way better with computers than i am like I, I so some of the people i know i feel like a computer no, no, noob but yeah, right. I guess I've you know I've been able to make a living off of the internet. So what's one talent you have? You're good at working on vehicles. Yeah, I can fixing I, vehicles. I can turn a wrench. You can turn a wrench. Is that a talent or a skill? Skill. Yeah. I got skills. You got skills. I don't have to talent. Pay I the got bills. Skills. My favorite cereal. Uh, uh, I don't. We don't, eat we, don't eat, we don't eat cereal. We don't eat cereal. I haven't eaten cereal since uh, I was a kid. Yeah, right. Right. Exactly. And if I, if I was a kid and I had to pick it, it'd probably be Peanut Butter Crunch by Captain Crunch. Peanut Butter? Mm -hmm. Captain Crunch? Yeah, I think that would be my favorite. Mine would be Golden Grams. Really? Yeah, mm -hmm. those are good. My favorite kind of music? Yours? Oh, boy. I don't <laughs> yes. know if it's a kind, but that's what it is, so. <laughs> you like, like, techno, EDM, dubstep -y type stuff. Or classic rock. Or, or old, classic rock. Or some old But I just remember, like, 
when we were first started like hanging out and dating you would always blast like dubstep in your jeep yeah I listen a lot of dubstep yeah then. so i see there's another one that i just like a lot of variety in my music too and this next one says what's my favorite sports team but i don't have a favorite so your favorite sports team seattle seahawks or seattle mariners yeah Mm-hmm. what's my eye color very blue <laughs> and yours are brown because you're full of shit who is my best friend with an s who are my best and friends there you go twins Chelsea they're the, they're the bitches the bitches my <laughs> bitches your best friend is my stepdad yep <laughs> Something you do that I wish you didn't do. Snore. Yes, but the pure sleep works. But yes, your snoring kills Snore. me. And so what's, now how do we reverse that? Something that you do that I, yeah. Um, get belligerently drunk. Yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> that's something. It's not, it's not often, but <laughs> when it happens. <laughs> they know. I tell them all about how bad I am at drinking. Where am I from? Here. Where are you from? Here. Here. Oh, my phone died. Before we can answer the last of the questions. Okay, guys, that's the end of this video. I think it turned out a little bit longer than I thought, but we are going to enjoy this wine, and I'm going to make him watch some American Horror Story. We're going to start at the beginning because we're we, we're watching the new season on TV, but. The Defenders. I mean. No, we already watched that today. We're no, watching American Horror Story. We only got through half of it. Cause I yeah, because you wanted to watch the football game. Part of the football game, but then we left. Yes. I, I turned it off for you, baby. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and learned a little bit more about us. And I will see you guys in the next video.